But since we have not been clear on Caiaphas, Lamentation, Joseph, all of these things, this is a time and an opportunity to be clear on what exactly is Ghana saying to his sons and daughters, what is Africa saying to his sons and daughters, what is the way forward, and most of all, how do we graduate from this engagement to this marriage and find ourselves empowered and received as rightful sons and daughters of this land to the right of return, moral principle, citizenship, visa acquisition for those who do not want to return, and also for the right to be able to do business, to register to do business, and to empower Africa through that engagement, economic engagement, and that to honor the years of toil and accumulated experience that was put into a working document through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for an engagement policy for Ghana to Africa, to Africans in the diaspora. We understand that some of the language in that engagement policy addresses some of the crucial issues that we are talking about. And that language addresses the fact that we need to have an appropriate terminology that identifies ourselves as a historically unique. Mm -hmm. Something happened to Africa. Something happened to Africa. And so we want to make a policy, an acknowledgement, morally and spiritually, that we recognize that, my brother and my sister. And because of that, we have established this or that or the other to accommodate the gulf that has been created artificially and the experiences that we've had separate from one another, that we escalate the spirit and the experience of being re-engaged with one another. And so, in that policy, as I said, some of us are familiar, some are not familiar. I know some officials are familiar, some are not familiar, because it's not actually out official. But some of our own community have engaged with Ministry of Foreign Affairs to help edit language that includes inclusive of us, and we feel that a very great first step for government is to adopt that policy officially so we can work from the document and that body of document towards that end. And then we have a clear understanding and principle, because I know there are separate occasions, um, our coalition, various other separate organizations that work within the coalition and without the coalition, have approached immigration, have approached foreign affairs, have now approached the new office of diaspora affairs, the office of the president. We approached the old office of diaspora affairs and foreign affairs to try to find out. In the meantime, how can we have a greater sensitivity to what the brothers and sisters are showing up at these shores and being treated like any other alien or foreigner, which we don't like being treated as? 